Diamond in the Rough Award for best game that nobody played. Tevi. Gal Guardians, Demon Purge. Sonic Dream Team. There it is. Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon. Dangerous, the Rumisode Triungulate. Platinum Games has had a rough time these last few years, what with lackluster releases and Bayo 3 coming out to our collective indifference. We didn't expect this kind of strange prequel game to be so appealing. Cereza and the Lost Demon is a departure from the current fast-paced action games Platinum has been known for, bringing us back to the kind of style and atmosphere Clover Studio games used to be famous for, taking what they did to Japanese ink paintings in Okami and applying it to a Celtic-inspired fairy tale aesthetic. Still on that idea of a slower-paced game, it seems like Platinum Games' experiments with simultaneously controlling two characters finally came to fruition here, by slowing down the combat and focusing more on exploration and puzzles. Cereza and the Lost Demon isn't just a good Bayonetta game, but a game that is enjoyable for anybody looking for a unique and gorgeous experience. A fitting bookend to the current Platinum Games, with their change in direction and Kamiya leaving, this might be the last chapter for this type of old-school style game. Looking forward to the new Platinum, though, let's hope they never lose their luster. <laughs>